Giant highway art, that's what John Cerny has been creating for about 40 years now. You may not recognize his name, but you'll likely know his work with pieces all over Monterey County. Here's a closer look at the man behind the roadside artwork. It starts with the stroke of a brush, a swish and dip. That's how John Cerny's larger than life creations come to life. We get an art degree. There's no guarantee to make a living as an artist. I, know that, I knew that, but I didn't care because I was infatuated with drawing and painting. I just fell in love with it. And that love and infatuation with art has worked out well for Cerny with more than 450 pieces now in 23 states. The Salinas local graduating with his art degree from Cal State Long Beach and getting his start in the business in a number of ways. I would ask a farmer if I could paint his barn. And I would do it for free. I would be painting during the day and driving a forklift at night. And then in my free time, I would do things like paint my truck, a mural on my truck, Clint Eastwood, James Dean, a King Tut on my door, a Van Gogh on the back of my tailgate. Going outside the lines to have his artwork noticed, blending his passion and need to make a living by doing paintings and portraits for friends and celebrities. But it wasn't until Cerny painted a baseball game scene in Aromas off of Highway 101 that he started to get calls for steady business. Gene Cacchetti Body Shop on Front Street was my first really real commission. And since that day in 1986, his giant highway art has blown up. Known for his large farm workers along Highway 68, the motorcycle and race cars at the entry to Laguna Seca Racetrack, the three scenes on the wreck trail a block up from Cannery Row in Monterey, the California Rodeo artwork at the Salinas Sports Complex, even the mile markers for the Big Sur International Marathon, all well-known, recognized pieces by Cerny. My favorite thing to paint is the, the thing I'm painting, and then the next thing I'm painting. It's, it's how it goes. But my favorite projects are the ones that I don't make a dime on, that I get to do exactly what I want to do. Popsicles in Palm Springs, five popsicles, different flavors, and five different hands holding the popsicles. One in Marfa, Texas, a tribute to the movie Giant with James Dean, Elizabeth Taylor, and Rock Hudson. That was a fun one. I collaborated with Michael Nesmith of the Monkees. So how does Cerny do it? How does he take this and turn it into this? I take it, a large image of it, and I uh, make little squares in it. It's the same Michelangelo used it on the Sistine Chapel, Chapel and make them bigger squares on my plywood pieces. I always think about Norman Rockwell painting a cover of Saturday Evening Post. The uh, looks on the faces have to be over the top. They can't be subtle. Happiness has to be real happy. Eyes have to be real wide open. It takes him about 9 to 12 days to complete a project that might be 8 to 18 feet tall using Nova Color paint that can last anywhere between 10 and 15 years on plywood. Then he hand delivers each project. I get to go to the site finally and install it, and then I get to finally step back and see it. Those are, that's pretty good moments. Taking in the final product and the beauty of the backdrop around it. My things work better because you get to see the surrounding landscape around it. Uh, the lighting changes every day. They, they look different every day. And one could say Cerny's work has made a sizable impact in the art world. If you really love what you do and you're passionate about it, you'll generally find a spot. You know, it, the best advice I ever heard, and I've heard it from different people, is just be so good that you can't be ignored. And he certainly has done just that. Very talented and a very humble John Cerny there. Uh, Cerny has a new art show in Santa Clara. If you'd like to check it out, it's at the Triton Museum of Art called Tall Tales and runs through January 14th.